Here we have a bunch of different examples of the mineral fluorite, which is your second and last halide mineral that you have on your mineral list. Um, fluorite is one of those minerals that becomes easier to identify it if you have a couple tips and tricks up your sleeve. A lot of people get fluorite confused with um, quartz, and we're going to go over a couple things to make sure that doesn't happen to you guys. Um, so the first thing to note when I see chloride is the crystal form. Lots of times fluorite likes to grow. It's an isometric mineral, um, so we should be looking for those high symmetry crystal forms. And one right here, we have a really nice little octahedron. Look at that. Eight sides, looks really great. This one isn't even super well formed, right? We can see that the crystal sides are a little bit off. It's not a perfect crystal, um, but this is a really uh, popular crystal form that you'll see that fluorite um, grows in. You will not see an octahedron of uh, quartz. So that one's a dead giveaway. Um, another thing to note is the cleavage. Um, quartz does not have cleavage. And this, these are, um, this octahedral form is the um, perfect four sides of cleavage that you would see for fluorite. So this is a great example. Um, another thing to note is the, um, the uh, fracture of this. The fracture should be, um, should have defined planes, whereas in quartz you would see a conchoidal fracture. Do, do, do. This one also has those really nice well-defined crystal faces as well. One thing to note about fluoride that can be difficult is the variety of colors that you'll see. Um, the actual colors of fluoride would not be very diagnostic. However, these kind of pastel greens, pinks, purples, blues are really, really typical of fluoride. So seeing something really highly colored like this or that has variable color, if I hold this sample up, some pieces are darker blue, um, some are more purple. This variety of color that's in one single sample is really popular to see in fluoride. If I look up this one here, we've got a really dark purple tip, a lot lighter, and then a banding in here. And that has to do with um, impurities while the crystal is growing. But that's something that you typically see in fluorite. Um, so the crystal faces, it has great uh, vitreous luster. Um, it usually likes to form in such nice shapes that you can see the luster really readily. It's very reflective, but not metallic, right? Because it's not opaque. Um, this sample here is a little bit less pristine, right? It's a little bit more beat up, but we can still find a really good crystal face right there. Um, and this is a kind of like a pastel pink color as well. Um, this is more of like a massive form, probably broke off of a larger, nicer chunk. Um, another thing to note is the hardness. So when distinguishing this between quartz, if the other things have already failed you and they look really similar, quartz is really hard and fluoride is a lot softer. It's a four on the hardness scale. So I should be able to take my little um, nail here and see if I can scratch it. Definitely. Like I'm making some good work in there. So it's pretty soft as far as um, as far as this goes. The other halide mineral that we have on our list, halite, also pretty soft as well. Um, so the hardness of it will help you diagnose this from other minerals that look really similar. So the cleavage of this, the crystal form of this, the variety of colors that you can see in one sample, the hardness, those are all very diagnostic things. And the specific gravity as well. This does... Um, it has a moderate specific, well, it's moderately dense, I would say, um, but it's nothing compared to um, like halite that was a lot lighter. This one still has some heft to it. It's a really nice sample here. And other than that, um, we covered cleavage, density, hardness. If I were to streak this, it would be a white streak. We'll give it a go just so you can see. Let's take this sample here. I mean that powder right there that's what i just streaked so streak is not going to be a diagnostic property right we don't want things that have white streaks they don't really tell us much um, and it's an isometric crystal so we've been used to seeing all these shapes um, and other than that this is fluoride biggest things to look for shape the luster um, the variety of colors the hardness and the um, density of it as well and this is fluoride the last of your two halide minerals